Gavin Stone here with you guys back at MondoCon, and today I'm joined by... JJ Harrison. And what do you do? Because I see an awful lot of Adventure Time, and everyone who watches our channel knows how obsessed I am with Adventure Time. Uh, I've illustrated uh, some of the comics, some comic book covers. Uh, I worked on the graphic novel for Boom Studios. Uh, right now I'm drawing Adventure Time comics for Titan Publishing in the UK. So no, so Boom Studios, everyone here seems to love Boom Studios. What's your favorite thing about Boom Studios? Uh, I, I like their affinity for like all ages content. Uh -huh. I mean, I buy, I've, I've been in comics for a long time, but um, I find that more and more I'm only buying Boom Studios comics lately. Yeah. I mean, they're publishing everything from Cartoon Network already, so. So what's the draw to Adventure Time for you? There's a lot of answers to that. Uh, okay, let's hear them. Well, I, I think just this sense of adventure, and then it's got, it's so friendly to, you know, boys, girls, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Like, you know, as well as anybody, that there's it's something for everybody there. Yes. And then it's got this kind of like dark, just darkness under the surface. To it. It's just like hiding there, ready to yeah. bite you like a snake. So it's there when you want it, but like it's still very cute and very approachable. I don't know. It, it's just great. That's awesome. So who's your favorite Adventure Time character? Bimo. See, Bimo. Can you do a good Bimo impression? No. Oh my god, really? <laughs> no, I, I cannot. <laughs> My favorite thing Bebo ever did was the uh, sexy swimsuit dance party. Oh, yeah. I'm bringing over Bikini Bay. That was great. <laughs> and that's on regular TV, and like my son loves it. Like He would call me, it's Adventure Time, get home. We're like, what time is it? It's Adventure Time. We had so much fun with it, and you're right. It appeals to everybody, but have you ever met Pendleton Ward? Yeah. yeah did you ask times. him what he was smoking when he came up with this series? Because let's face it, it's pretty crazy. No. I mean, I imagine he gets asked that Yeah, quite like, a bit, uh, so. were you high when you yeah. came up with this idea? <laughs> Um, yeah. So if you were to put the characters in Adventure Time versus the characters in Bravest Warrior, who do you think would win? Uh, Adventure Time. I don't know. Bravest Warriors has some pretty awesomeness going on I there. I know, but yeah, I'm still going to go with Adventure Time. Adventure Time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could see you on that one, but I'm going to totally say no. I'm going to go for Bravest Warriors because they have uh, that awesome bathroom that's a holodeck. Yeah. You can't beat that, dude. Just put... You know, the first time characters <laughs> are there, they'll never know what's going on. You could right. drive that ship into the moon. Yeah. <laughs> and Impossible Bear kind of brings it, so. Impossible, no, it's all about Catbug. Yeah, well, Catbug yeah. kills you with cuteness. I know, right? But that's the most dangerous thing. I mean, in Adventure Time, you have Tree Trunks marrying the pig, but that's cute enough. But no, Catbug trumps all cuteness, period. Right. So what do you think you're going to do after Adventure Time? What do you want to go draw? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I'm working on some children's books. Like I, I just had uh, my first children's book came out this summer. It's called Ninja Boy Goes to School. Ninja Boy Goes to School? Does he go to ninja school? No, he just goes to elementary school. It's just a, a regular kid who wants to be a ninja and goes to school. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I can see how He's they a ninja play all out the on time. that. I was so, like, it's like, what would happen if a super villain's kid had to go to regular school? Right. Like, There's they so only know one way of life. How can you tell them they're wrong? And you, you can't stop that. That kid's going to do it. Yeah, that kid's going to do whatever he wants to do. So thanks for taking the time to talk with us and about Adventure Time, because I'll talk with anybody about Adventure Time. Oh, for sure. And at some point in time, I may science dance challenge you, so we'll have a science dance off and see what happens. But we'll, you'll, you'll never see it coming. I'll just hit you with a bag of popcorn and go, science dance. <laughs> and you'll have to answer the challenge. I'm all there. I have a question for you. Yes. Since the, since the show came on, are you able to get the actual time of day at your house when you ask what time it is? No. It's impossible, no. right? Anytime we say what time is it, everyone's all adventure time. No it's real done. answer. No real answer anymore. It's always adventure time. Yep. And that's the way it should be because the dude <laughs> is awesome. I love his work. I love seeing people who love his work and put it on and here's BMO. All sorts of fun stuff. So yeah, what time is it? It's adventure time. It's time for this interview to get back to MondoCon. <laughs> I tricked you on that one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 